the more flashy something is the less likely it is to be good hey guys how are you all doing hope you are good hope you are fine and welcome back to the channel i want to quickly come on here to talk about a movie well not a movie is a documentary not series i wanted to say documentary series but no it's not documentary just documentary whatever whatever okay that i watched on netflix and this movie has been trending for a while now i've been seeing it a lot more on social media these days actually what triggered me to to watch it in the first place was a post a tweet that i saw talking about this guy and i decided to check it out and boy i was triggered the documentary is a good one actually i'm not a huge fan of documentary this one caught my attention just with the name Tinder Swindler like I was so triggered to watch it and it has been between number one number two of um, top tens on Netflix so let me just go ahead and you know talk a little bit about it and give my thoughts lessons I've learned it's all about this guy called Simon in an Israeli guy he swindles women he scams women for a living like he live up of it okay and this documentary was all about three ladies that was swindled through him via tinder okay they met him via tinder the first lady's name is cecilia and this lady fell like she fell like an elephant into a pit hole i don't know if that makes sense but she really felt for him like a lot she is the most victim of them all i really do not want to blame her but then again she should have seen it coming why why did she see it coming i don't want to blame her because i mean she's a victim but then again she should have seen it coming right in the beginning of the series she was talking about how she have always dreamt of having his which charming, good looking a billionaire a wealthy guy good looking and simon was like a whole package of everything she wanted in a guy she wanted like a prince charming that will sweep her off her feet and he came right on <laughs> okay he came right on with the sweet, sweet words throwing it here and there with the whole flashy lifestyle that he lives okay and i want to say this before i go any further don't believe everything you see on social media don't don't just don't don't believe okay because this guy was living the life wearing designers upon designers all his social media posts was about him wearing designers traveling here and there going for business meeting flying private jets five-star hotels like he was living the life okay <laughs> and that was what this lady wanted cecilia that was what she wanted and it fell right on her and she got talking with this guy the guy claimed to be a billionaire a son of a diamond king like he claimed he's a billionaire son he he as well um is a billionaire and blah 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 all of that good stuff and before you know it they went on the first day second date and one month down the line this guy started coming on with oh he has enemies chasing him down trying to kill him sending sending her sending cecilia intriguing sending cecilia some photos that his life is on threat he can't access his credit card he can't go to the bank he can't go anywhere he can't even make phone calls that they are tracking him blah 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 and cecilia fell for it before you know it he was asking cecilia for money cecilia gave the one she had and as if that was not enough he kept on asking for more that he he had this deal he wanted to close his enemies were haunting him i mean Cecilia took a loan on his behalf, first loan. I think that was, I think it was $25,000 or $10,000. I can't remember. She took loan three good times for this guy that she have only known in a month. She took three loans, like huge amount of money, $10,000, $25,000, like a lot, a lot, a lot of money. She was taking loan for someone she barely knew. Tell me why I wouldn't blame her. I just do not want to blame her but then again like she don't have this money she don't she don't have the money she decided to take a loan for him a lot of things were running through my mind while while i was watching the movie i was like okay this guy told you that he's a son of a billionaire he's been threatened 
he's he's been tracked and blah 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 what about his parents i mean his dad is a a, a diamond king why couldn't he go to him for help don't he have friends like billionaire friends what are the the whole meetings he has been attending claiming to be attending doesn't he have any friend that would help him out from this situation instead of his girlfriend that he just met in less than a month i mean all that all those stuff was running to my mind i wonder why his sister didn't think about it seriously i wonder why she didn't think about that and yeah she ended up being a victim she started trying to ask the guy to pay back the money the guy was posting posting until he decided to give her a check simon gave cecilia a check of five hundred thousand dollars and cecilia went to the bank and boom it was fake so moving on to the second lady they also met on tinder he was living the life yeah and they went on dates they were moving from one place to the other on the yacht on the private jets on the island five-star hotels different expensive food five course meal three course meal anyway <laughs> before you know it he used the same tactics he used for cecilia his life is was being threatened claiming his life was being threatened he he can't access his credit card this this, this that, that that and she also fell for it and gave him the money she had she wanted to you know buy a house with the money she was saving and she gave all of them to simon then she started trying to get her money back simon was posting her this was what simon was doing like he would take money from this lady spend it on another lady and after he had spent to a particular limited time the woman the person would pay like in million folds okay <laughs> That was how he was literally recycling this. It was like a roller coaster. He was moving from here to here. It was a, a roller coaster for him. He was, he is a pro. This is like a real life story. He's a pro. Not like a ghost too. These people were seeing him. He goes on a date with them. They spend the night together, you know. His real name even. He was using his real name, okay. Because... Yeah, he was literally using his rename. Moving on to the third lady, that one dated him for 16 whole months. And I was like, how come this lady didn't notice anything fishy in the whole of 16 whole months that they dated? How come she didn't notice anything fishy? That guy was really a pro. That guy is really, really, really a pro. Oh my God but i love what the last lady did at least he made him pay back in some kind of way even though not fully but he paid back he didn't like go scot free like he went scot free from the two first ladies the third lady got to know about these ladies because it was trending at that time um tabloids were carrying it around you know it was all over and the guy started hiding because he was wanted like literally so he was hiding and the third girl decided to play along because she too was a victim her money her emotions has gone down the drain for the sake of this simon and she decided to play along with him to get something for him and that was how she lured him into selling off all his designers wares he wanted more money from her who already knew what's up the third lady was like fine i will help you give me all your designers wares let me help you to sell them and i'll give you the money and that was how simon packed like lots and lots and lots of designer wares and gave it to the third lady i love what she really did she sold them kept the money for herself and to think that this was what this guy was doing to them he was sending voice notes to her threatening her life that part was really funny like this is what you have been doing to these ladies how come it's paining you this much how come it's hurting you this much just one person did just a little bit to him and he was so hot he was raving mad sending voice notes upon voice notes so um finally the third lady was able to lure him to the airport where the police captured him and he was jailed for 18 months but at the end of the day he only stayed in jail for five months which is not even enough for things he has done cecilia will have to pay back the loans she took on his behalf for the fucking rest of her life and 
there the guy was balling again he was back to his lifestyle uh you know wearing designers carrying bundles of dollars about as if nothing happened while these other ladies on the other hand has been robbed rendered you know penniless there is a lot to learn from this movie okay all the flashy things you see on social media just be careful don't allow yourself to be pressurized by them you don't know nothing everything you see flashy and not good the more flashy something is the less likely it is to be good so guys i think i'll be ending here in this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about this documentary what do you think like do you blame any of the ladies do you feel sorry for them like just let me know what you think generally okay bye bye